Alright, hello everyone, this is the Anime Tail Goku, and today I'll be showing you how to change the folder background in Windows 7. Uh, this is really easy to do, as compared to Windows XP where you have to like type in like 6 lines of codes. And right here, all you need is to download a program from the internet. So go, to, go ahead and go to your Internet Explorer, and uh, in the search area, type in Windows 7. Uh, hold on, folder background changer. And uh, it should take you to a website that's called www.thewindowsclub.com. So just go ahead and click on that website. And uh, here is what the program looks like. Uh, uh, you have to scroll down a little bit because there's like a bunch of advertisement and uh, don't click on any of those pictures because you know you might not get what you want so somewhere down in the middle you should see uh, Windows 7 background folder background changer version 1.1 1 .1. uh, just go ahead and click on that you can uh, you're gonna save it uh, it's a zip file I already have it saved so I'll just close this out and uh, Unzip, unzip the thing, and then uh, here, here it is. So this program, I think it's free of virus of any sort. You don't have to, like worry too much about it. So uh, after you have it, just go ahead and right click on it and click run as, uh, as an administrator, and a yes. So here it is. Here is what it is. Now several things. The first, it says on, uh, on the top folder location. That is actually the folder uh, that you're going to change the background image of. So just go ahead and browse to uh, to the folder, and uh, you should see this area blank if you do not have any folder background. I mean, uh, background folder image. So uh, just click on this button right here where it says uh, change background image, and browse the folder of your pictures. Uh, I'm just going to use this one right here and uh, it should automatically pops up. You can also change the text color and uh, you have two different options right here. So after you're done with one folder you can just go ahead and you don't have to save or anything unlike in Windows XP. You, uh, to change the second uh, f folder background you can just go ahead and click browse and do the process over again. It's not going to affect this uh, folder right here. So after you're done with it just go ahead and click the X and uh, there you go. Your folder background has changed. Now, uh, as you see, uh, when I scroll down, up and down, the background uh, image does not scroll up and down with me, uh, unlike in Windows XP, where if I scroll down, the image, the background image will also scroll down. So, like it or not, whatever. All right. So, uh, if you're experiencing trouble with this, uh, there might be several things you need to look at. First of all. If you just go ahead and double click on it and click run, well, from uh, for mine it worked. For yours, uh, it might not work. If it pop up a dialog box saying um, something went wrong or whatever, uh, that means yours is not working. Just go ahead and right click on it and click uh, run as, as an administrator. And the uh, second thing, if you save your image uh, as anything other than JPEG. I don't know if it works or not, but I save all my images JPEG files, so and it's working. If you save yours as bitmap or a GIF image or whatever, well, and it does not work, you can uh, you can always like go to your image and save it as JPEG uh, file. And the third thing, if you change your uh, background image and then you decided to move the picture file to some other location, well, that might uh, that might cause the whole thing to go to go down because uh, I don't know it might this program might just locate the the location of the picture and then changes the folder background so it will no longer work if you uh, if you change your uh, picture location so if it doesn't work just go ahead and remove all those backgrounds and redo the process and I think you will be fine from there on so that's pretty much it uh, other than these you shouldn't have any problems if you do just go ahead and like just go ahead and leave a comment or anything, and I'll help you to the best of my ability. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care.